Great Britain then, one of only two countries to have held a Grand Prix in every single year of the Formula One World Championship. And the circuit extends that record further for today's Grand Prix. The 3.6 mile long Silverstone circuit is one of the longest of the season with 18 corners in the current layout. With average lap speeds reaching around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the quickest tracks of the year. Watch out for cars taking the right-handers of Abbey and Cops flat out. Joining me for the Grand Prix once again is Anthony Davidson. I'd like to ask you about Sergio Sete Camera. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. A fantastic effort from Pierre Gasly yesterday puts him on pole and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Sergio Perez and Leclerc, Verstappen, Iceman, Ricardo, and Esteban Ocon, Norris, Kvyat, Lance Stroll and Russell, Albon, Magnussen, Antonio Giovinazzi and Nicholas Latifi, Hubert and Sergio Sete Camera. It OK, this is the team's home race. We're all relying on you to impress today. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. So, as you would have seen, we got switched over to Red Bull Racing. And we took out Alex and Albon, so we're all, we are racing with our man, Max Verstappen. So, how did that happen? Well, we came up to our uh, contract renewal, and, you know, I've been performing really, really well. Uh, getting podiums pretty much all the time. And I've been asking McLaren, I was like, you know what, you guys should match me with Norris. First, the, the first time they said no, second time they said no. I'm like, okay, well, before I ask you again, I'm going to ask Red Bull. I asked Red Bull for the same salary I was asking McLaren, and they without, they had no hesitation. They took me on the spot. Now, we've been kind of trying to dive into their car a little bit. It is, I don't think it performed as well as our McLaren used to be, or maybe I'm just not dialing into the car yet, but we've been keeping it with, with Max. We do have a few reliability issues, which should be solved for this race. But you know what? Looks like both McLarens are on the top, so we got to beat them to get some points and get in here. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, now let's see if we can get a nice, good launch out of here. Fashion battles in the way. Pushed wide there a little bit. Nice start. Let's keep it up. Oh, I went a little bit wide there. Got to hold it with these guys. Always get that corner wrong, all the time. Harris is right behind us. Cut the grass out a little bit, it was a little bit too long. I think Red Bull just knew that the car wasn't performing that well, so they wanted maybe to pick somebody up from McLaren and uh, increase their chances of getting more points. 
and maybe develop their car a little bit because yeah their car is not in the greatest running right now Yeah, like Vettel's pulling away from us, this is nuts. And we're in a Red Bull. Man, Gasly just setting the fast laps DRS all the time. DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Charge is high. Let's use that overtake button more. I just can't carry the speed through speed through that corner for some reason. store is getting worn, reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Yeah, Paris is definitely a little bit faster than us, so we're going to see if we can keep up with him get a DRS. First cause a couple issues there. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Wonder how a car this car handles the mediums though. Uh, but yeah, we've been having a lot of reliability, I guess, reliability issues with Red Bull specifically. In practice, we need to 
had to replace a couple parts. It's like in the race, we're having uh, issues as well. Reliability just doesn't seem to be there this season. Or overtake to pull away real here a little bit. We won't have the arrest. But yeah, Perez is there. The engine is uh, really good. This. I didn't think Red Bull is going to be this bad. Oh, they'd be much faster. that corner a little bit better. That's still going really wide there. Alright, we're outside of the arrest range. We're gonna box this lab, push hard on the in lab. Pulling out a second a lap on the car behind. I think, I think Max is just behind Vettel as well. the lead. I think it's a 1-2. No, it's not 1-2 McLaren. I thought that's what it was, but yeah, Norris is way behind. We're way back anyway, so. assist is the way to go so we can just fly it down there okay so it's Alcon is coming back behind us I believe yeah Norris is out no, Alcon is coming out oh, Norris is behind us is only one by as well all right let's get us in the Gazi that went in now. You'll be oh come on Alcon Alpine Got delayed by the Alpine so much, so Daniel Ricardo's right behind us. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Uh, let's see what we can do. Guys are still a little bit cold. Their overtake regenerates so fast, which is great. We're 17th right now. Wonder where we're going to be coming out of. So 
Max just got into the pits. Max is in the pits. Max in the pits. Oh, we gotta push. Let's see if Max is gonna undercut us or not. Max didn't, under, under, didn't undercut us, which is good. We had a really bad exit, though. The car behind has boxed for the mediums. Car behind on the medium tire. Five laps of fuel remaining. At least some more people are supposed to be coming in. Like Sergio, like Santa Camera is supposed to be coming in pit as well. So I see Bottas is ninth only. It was a very early turn in there. Let's up a line a bit. Okay, gap ahead is 4.9 seconds. I got past the battle. P6, we're now running in P6. We're leading our teammate by 4.2 seconds. For P6, it's somebody on box? We, we got a we also got, we also got an undercut by like two spots or something. Vettel did undercut Perez though. Ooh, Hamilton's 11 seconds, oh my god. Yeah, we're not getting podium this race. Giovinazzi's pitted. Drive very ahead. Battle behind, the gap behind us is 2.6 seconds. They're on fresh hearts. The time last lap was a 1.54.1. Driver in front. Bottas ahead. Our gap to the car in front is 5.3 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Their tires are one lap old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 28.9. 1 minute 20. Let's see what laps. What we're gonna set here. The gap to the car ahead is 6.8 seconds.
we've only got two laps of fuel left. Ooh, one second slower, okay. Well, hopefully our next race we do better. So we're, uh, we will finish fifth for sure. So I gotta do a bit more magic Gasly's with Rebel in front. than I thought I would have to. Gasly was, was performing well with a car that I gave him though. I'm gonna set up a perfect car for McLaren. Gasly comes in and just like, yeah, I'm gonna get first place. At least I'm still in the lead for uh, Drivers' Championship. Constructors, we gotta get back because McLaren's there right now. I don't know where Verstappen is. I was very deep, very late in the brakes. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Okay, the car behind is catching you by five tenths a lap, five tenths. Really, five tenths a lap? That's crazy. Car in front is 8.1 seconds. Yeah, Red Bull is just not performing well. engine mode much longer we're about a lap over target drop down to mix too soon one twenty five so there okay maybe it's the best and bring it home Oh, fifth place. Well, hopefully we are going to be a good investment for Red Bull. But, well, the first race is always kind of like a little break-in period for Red Bull. Well, they've done a brilliant... Yeah, I know McLaren's happy. They got Gasly. They got rid of me. Say the money, maybe. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. What a switch to a season, though, that's and for look sure. look at that. They're making their way out onto the podium now. Get out of here, Gasly. Great race from the McLaren team, and I'm really happy. Let's see how the driver's oh, standings have man. changed. Iceman increases their championship lead. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? It's got to be Lando Norris, hasn't it? Smooth, confident, and assured. I've got no doubt that he and his team are going to be over the moon with his performance today. Let's move on to the constructors. McLaren continue to increase their gap at the top. Oh, second Max Verstappen! Wow. Our exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Jeez. Be sure to join us for the next one. Yeah, so we're still, we're still second place. Leclerc, Max Verstappen, nobody's really that close to us. Um, Norris is 119. Gasly's pretty far down. This is where I'm worried about. We're about almost well, almost half uh, of a McLaren, so we're pretty low. Oh, Red Bull. We got to get back in there, but that was what a switch to a season. Hopefully, you guys liked, it, liked this episode. We are officially with Red Bull Racing. We got to get their cars back up and running as soon as possible. Hopefully, we can still win Drivers' Championship this year. Maybe Constructors, that might be pushing it, but we'll see what we can do.
Either way, if you like the, if you like the episode, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below, and we'll see you guys later. Take it easy.